A wild hog in Texas is certainly no big headline. They're everywhere in the country, but some people think they are seeing them more now in the city. KVU's Luis De Leon joins me now in the studio. Luis, some people on social media are saying they're having spottings in northwest Austin. Yeah, Mike, we first learned about this story through the Nextdoor app. The feral hogs have been spotted near Spicewood Springs Road in northwest Austin. That's just off Loop 360. Now, the manager of a golf course in the area says the animals have been around for a while, but now he's see, seeing them even more. At the Great Hills Country Club, people love their golf been here for 23 years. Like Tim Prickett, who says recently there's been visitors who did not reserve a tea time. For many years we never saw any hogs out here and now it's uh, a pretty much a yearly occurrence. Feral hogs have been leaving behind this on some of the Northwest Austin golf course. In long-term droughts you'll see the hogs and animals come out of the, the rough areas because they have to forage for food. While he says the damage to the course hasn't been too expensive to fix and the hogs do not come out during the day, he says it's an inconvenience for the club's golfers and maintenance workers because they work you know they work long hot hours out there during some time trying to get the golf course looking nice and then once this happens it just it's like a kick in the gut and it doesn't really impact our operations other than you know they kind of tear things up yeah. experts in the wildlife field have noticed the growth to the point now that they're very common throughout the state. It doesn't surprise me that you'd have pig issues up in that area because that part of Austin and, and that part of the hill country is kind of typified by these dramatic draws and canyons. Texas Parks and Wildlife says there's more than a million feral hogs in Texas. In fact, they destroy native ecosystems. The goal is to get rid of the pig. But how? The goal is to erect some large uh, corral-style trap catch the whole sounder at one time and move on with life. And the golf course tells me they've managed to trap some of the hogs. And as far as advice on what to do if you see one, like you're on a trail, simply leave it alone. Now, a state law signed in September allows Texans to hunt for feral hogs without a license on private property with permission from the landowner. A hunting license is still required on public land.